Hey fellow players, I'm Milo. What you just heard, it's called Boogie Woogie. It's an amazing, super fun style to play on the piano. That's why today I will show you how to play Boogie Woogie. You also can download the PDF file for free. The link is in the description down below. And for play Boogie Woogie, you're gonna use these chords C major, C, E, G, C, E, G, the both hands, F major, F, A, C, and G major, G, B, D. And the pattern for the left hand, you play the whole chord and then get rid of the third one. Two, three, get rid of this and play like this, and then move your top note one key up, like this. So, this and this, this and this, this and this. F major, the same rules. Get rid of the middle note and play the bottom note and the top note, and then move to the next key like this. G major, the same, get rid of this, playing the bottom, the top, play it like this, and then like this. So again, C major, F major, and G major. And the really important thing about Boogie Woogie, you have to play doing swing. That means instead you play straight like this. One, two, three, four. You have to play like this. Pa, 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 F the same. G the same. Noticing the difference with the both hands. Straight. Doing swing. And talking about the chord progression, we're going to use the 12 bar blues progression. That means you play four times on C, two times on F, again, two times on C, and then two times on G, and then two times on C. Let's hear those repetitions from the pattern on the left hand. Step number two is playing chords with your right hand. For that, you're gonna play C major, F major, and then G major. And you play like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. The both hands together, you play one, two, three, and the second C with the G, you play the both hands together and then move to C with A. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 
doing swing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. F major, the same. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. G major, the same. One, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. And you play the first time of the chord with the both hands together and the second time only with your left hand. We'll fill this gap pretty soon. So let's hear these chords into the chord progression with the both hands together. By the way, if you enjoyed this lesson, please consider to subscribe to this channel. It's completely free for you and a total game change for me. Let's go back and to fill the gaps we have left, now I'm gonna play a really cool lick. For the that, you play the bottom and top note of the chord, C major, that are really the third, the bottom and the top, and then you play C, E flat, E, you can slide up this, like this, and then repeat the bottom and top note again. 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 You also can play just the top note if you think it's gonna sound better and easier to play. So. First option. Second option. F major, exactly the same pattern. The bottom and top note. Repeat the bottom. Play the third minor, like this. Again. Or the second option. G major, the same pattern, the bottom, the top, minor third, first option, or second option. And you play the first time doing the chords, and then the lick. You play the first time on the left hand alone and then play together, 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 together and alone again. So again. Doing the swing. With F major, the same pattern. Second option. G, the same. Let's hear on the progression.
And the stage number four is to achieve a pleasant sound. To do that, the lick you are playing over here in this octave, you play all over here. So, and go back. F major, the same. And G, the same. It doesn't seem like much, but it will be a little bit challenging compared with the stage number three. So, let's hear it. Now click on this video up here and check the Blues Piano Tutorial for Beginners. So thank you for watching, I see in the next tutorial. Ciao!